there guys, how's it going? Thanks for joining me on another episode of Ark Survival Evolved for the Xbox One. Really excited about today's episode. I've got so much stuff to show you guys. You guys have been so supportive in the comments and with the likes recently. It's really been unbelievable. Absolutely makes my day. So don't forget to keep that up if you enjoy this series. What I'm going to start off doing is I'm going to start off picking out some comments from the comment section each day. So you guys know you might be featured on tomorrow's episode if you leave a comment. And yes, Yesterday, well, actually it was the day before yesterday, because yesterday was the settings one. Uh, we had Aaron Fernandez said, here's a challenge. Kill an Alpha Rex with slingshots. And Aaron, that sounds absolutely crazy and like a really good challenge. Is it actually viable? I don't know. But I'm going to keep that one in mind. But if I do come across an Alpha T-Rex, unless it's level 120, then I don't even freaking know. But we'll see. Maybe I'll do that one. Maybe not. I'm going to let you know what I need some comments of today in just a second. But first things first, let me show you what I've been up to. I have been so damn busy right so i have got right here underneath my feet a brand new mammoth i actually i can't even remember what i had last time in the last video even though it was two days ago i've done so much stuff i can't remember what i've had uh, so i'm just going to show you everything presume that i didn't have any of this stuff before so we've got mate boosted mammoths which are pretty cool we've got the female here i think this is female and i've got a male here as well now all of my tames today guys i need names for i don't have any names for any of my new tames and they're all absolutely beastly so anyone who can come up with some funny original stuff just let me know and maybe tomorrow when you watch this video when you watch my next episode you might see the name you suggested on one of these beasts so we've got a male and a female the female was actually a higher level tame than the male but i didn't tame as well because its effectiveness wasn't great because it got hit by an Argent while it was taming. So let's have a cheeky look at those, uh, little look at the stats. We've got nearly 5,000 health. That is so, so tanky. And 844 weight, 222 melee damage. Uh, and this one, we've got 696 way. And again, nearly 5,000 health, 4,500, I guess. Pretty good either way. A couple of absolute beasts. And like I said to you in the last series, guys, if you're playing multiplayer with other people, when it comes to a mammoth, really all you need to up, um, up, upgrade is the word? No. All you need to increase is the melee damage because you can use a quest to carry it and then let it hit while it's being carried by the quest. But as I'm playing single player or on my own even, um, I kind of need to have the high weight as well so I can just run out there, go and grab what I need. But damn, look at this view. I'm so glad I decided to build it. Look at that. I mean, we've got the waterfall. We've got the blue obelisk in the background. Absolutely beautiful. Right, so let me show you what's going on in the house. I've pretty much successfully moved out of the raft. The raft is just there just to have a raft now. So I've successfully moved in. I've got everything I need in the house. And I know this doesn't look too amazing, guys. It kind of looks a bit dull. It's just a big square box. But I went to put some sloped roofs on. It just wasn't working. Bloody blah, blah. But either way, I will make an effort to make this a little bit nicer looking. But I think it looks quite nice on the inside already. Anyway, we've got the farm coming on nicely. As you can see, these things are actually growing. We've got growthling stage here, so uh, and we've got fruitling stage on the citronal, so we've actually got all of that making. So that's pretty good. I've got all of the stuff that I want there. Now, I, I do want to do some plant species X around here. I want to kind of, I was wanting to surround the whole place with plant species X, but then I thought, well, what if uh, I want to bring something back to tame it? And that's going to be a problem. So I'm even going to have to not do that or be very careful with that, or I'm going to have to uh, put a, a taming pit somewhere else, because I'll be honest, this taming pit here, it's a bit amateur, so I might have to just get rid of that. So anyway, let's go inside. Not much decor in here at the moment, but we have got plenty of stuff inside. So I love these dino gates. I think these dino gates are much better than doors. They make things look much more epic. They're not really that secure if you're playing on a PvP server, but I think they look really cool. And if you're wondering how to place them, they are two foundations wise. You can see here in the middle, this splits between two foundations, and then you can just put it between there and it will fit perfectly. So what have we got inside here? On the left hand side, we've got my crafting room. We've got all the forges that we had before, and you're going to see in a minute, these are a little bit redundant now. But then we've got some chests behind them uh, that I can just fill straight up with the metal if I wanted to, or I can fill them up as I've put here. You can see I've actually labelled stuff this time. So we've got oil in here. We've got uh, crystal. Well, I've actually got no crystal in here. 
pearls. <laughs> oh, I've actually used all this stuff. We've got hide, but I'm trying to be organized. I'm trying my absolute best to be organized this time because I see other people play this game. They're so organized and it looks so cool. And I'm just so messy and I, I don't really build very smart stuff. I'm more of an adventures kind of guy than like an organization kind of guy. But I'm making an effort. I'm making an effort this season. So it's nicer to watch. I'm going to do some decoration as well. I've got my mortars and pestles here. I think this is a nice little way to have them so you can just use them all without having to move. I guess you could do a whole circle, but I like the idea of just running in here and filling them up. And to be honest, it's just one guy. You're not really going to use more than one. So here I've got some smithies. Well, I say some smithies. I've got an absolute ton of smithies. I've put all my blueprints in here. I have got a couple of nice blueprints. I've got this shotgun, apprentice shotgun, 140% damage. And I've got a nice pike. I've got a better than normal pistol and either a better than normal long neck hopefully i'll get some even better blueprints now i've upped the difficulty so this is the main one that i'm going to use and i've got these ones as, uh, here as well and you might ask jay why do you need so many smithies the answer is i don't but number one i thought it looked cool and number two you can actually use them as storage chests because these hold 75 items each and the chests only hold 30 items each but not that i need that now because i've actually got a ridiculous amount of storage but who knows maybe in the future i'll have an overspill now, I've got the fabricator here, as you would expect. And the update, by the way, guys, you guys keep asking me about the update that was meant to happen yesterday, I think it was, where we're going to be getting dung beetles, Dimitrodon, Swat Armor, the prod as well. I believe that is happening in a couple of days. Jesse, the founder of Ark, said on his Twitter that it's being delayed by a couple of days. But once that comes in, we're going to be able to make Swat Armor. So I'm definitely planning for that. In here, I've got some polymer and metal. And one cool thing about living in the snow biome or very near it is that I can get organic polymer which is pretty freaking cool the only thing i i really struggle to do is get a cementing paste but i've got ways of farming that um, here there's actually nothing but what I'm thinking of doing is having this kind of top level here as my bedroom so I'm thinking of having a little ladder there and then some ceilings across here so this is like on two levels and then this bit above will be my bedroom so it will have my bed and well it won't actually need much other stuff but I think it'll be pretty cool I'll show you this room in a second because this is my favorite room so I'm going to show you that one in a second and around the back here at the moment I'm kind of using this as a temporary pen but what we do have in here check this out the industrial forge boys this is a freaking hype all of my metal smelting needs taken care of with this beast it's got 60 slots obviously a couple less because you have to put the gas in there as well but damn any metal that i'm gonna want is gonna be used in there and i know it kind of makes my forges over here a bit redundant but i just think it looks cool and i want to push things to the next level in this next playthrough here I've got some storage boxes as well. These are just unlabeled ones just to dump stuff in. And I've got a smithy here so I can like get stuff from there and then craft it straight away in the smithy. Very, very smart. Now, here are my bad boys. This is my lineup so far. Jay's uh, Arc lineup 2016 Season 2. We've got two mate boosted Argentavis. Absolutely beautiful specimens here. Obviously, male and female. This one is level 213. I think this is my male. Is this the male? Uh, no, this is the female, in fact, and 177% movement speed. Uh, damn, that's an absolute beast. The melee is not incredible, but you can't really get incredible melee anymore since the nerf. But I absolutely love these Argents. And because their stats are so good off the bat, you know, 3k health, 4k health, uh, with a little bit of an upgrade, that I've been up I've been up in the movement speed. You can see here, this one, 330% movement speed. Uh, no, melee damage, but 167% movement speed. They're just absolutely incredible. So, so quick absolutely awesome but i'll be honest any argent that i see over level over level 100 i'm gonna want to get because there's nothing wrong with having a fleet of argents thinking about breeding these two but breeding takes so long on the xbox anyway the rest of the lineup oh by the way i need names for almost all of these things the rest of the lineup we've got thor the ankylo an absolute beast at collecting metal he likes to collect flint and even perhaps thatch now these things are really practical but i'll be honest oh <laughs> I collected the berries that are underneath the, the uh, ceiling here. They are awesome for collecting metal. But to be honest, the way I'm doing it at the moment, it's not really that practical. But he was very high level. I absolutely had to get him. He's got a little level up as well. Let's just level up the weight. Um, because when you're doing solo farming, pretty much weight is the most important thing in the farming dino. So Thor there, an absolute beast. Quick look at the stats again. 3.5k health, 278% melee. Uh, very, very nice indeed. Now, none of these were a perfect level 100 
120 tame. I did get 100 level 20 raptor, but I accidentally dropped it in the dino pen and all my stuff killed it. But anyway, that's a story for another day, perhaps. Next up, we do have a nice high level raptor. This one I think was 110, something like that. I'm a little bit disappointed in the in the health here considering it was so high level but you can see we can give it a bit of an upgrade there but raptors very useful in the caves and uh, I just love raptors I love having raptors I might have a raptor army basically anything over a level 100 I'm going to tame but I'm trying to get two of each animal or dino uh, over level 100 next up saber tooth oh no I tell a lie this was a perfect level 120 tame the only thing that wasn't perfect is I didn't have kibble but still a very very effective tame on this thing you can see we've got 1.6k health pretty good off of the bat i don't think i've leveled this thing at all nearly 300 melee pretty good stats there once i level that thing up a bit more it's gonna be a friggin a beast if i can actually move out of here next up we've got a dire wolf this is another 116 level dire wolf this one's got some good health on it nearly 3k health both of these beasts really good so that one's a female i think the cat is a male cat is a male yeah so i have to remember so i know what i need to uh, get to actually get the mate boost but one thing we do have mate boosted other than the argents is a couple of scorpions these scorpions pretty freaking beastly and now that i've got um mated ones hold on there's no mate boost are they not we've got a male and a male oh i thought i had one it's because i found a high level female and then i killed it accidentally but yeah i've got two high level scorpions um and i want to get a high level female scorpion as soon as possible because i want that mate boost because as some of you know hold on it's getting a bit dark in here let me change the gamma as some of you guys know uh, scorpion eggs give you T-Rex kibble. So that is going to be something I'm going to want for that perfect Rex. with The perfect bionic Rex skin. But 300% melee damage on this one. Around 400 on this one. I'm going to try and use these bad boys to get me a quest. And I might even do that next episode. Because I might just get a low level quest to start. Because once I get a low level quest. I'm thinking of making a quest cage. Which will then make it easier for me to get a high level quest. And finally. You know, this, is basically, this is basically it at the moment. But finally this is the storage room i'm really trying to be organized this time and you guys can tell look at this we have got obviously the industrial grill which has got nothing in at the moment i don't think nope we've got our farm foods here everything is labeled i never normally do this we've got meat in this fridge we've got berries in this fridge and we've got eggs in this fridge i think i'll probably put kibble in this fridge as well when i end up doing that but we've got some of our eggs from before you can see we've got the gigantosaurus egg this is our only memory of of our gigantosaurus these eggs but it's it's just nice to see them in there they're absolutely huge by the way if you put them on the floor let me see actually if i could take one out and put it on the floor i think i probably can let's uh put it here and then if we just drop it you can see the size of these things some of you might not have seen this yeah but look at this beast <laughs> it's just absolutely ridiculous you have to give it a second for the texture to load in but yeah look at it is it as big as me it looks like it might be as big as me hold on it's, I think it's bigger than I am. Look at that. I mean, what is that? I mean, imagine my character's like nearly six foot or something. It's like a, a six foot plus egg. Absolutely ridiculous, but pretty cool. I should probably like get them all out and arrange them like size order, just for fun. Now, one thing I've forgotten to do, actually, is I haven't done a trophy room yet. I think I might do the trophy room just here. That's a great idea. Put my trophies here. The Broodmother, the Ark Survivor trophy. I think I've got that. I don't have an Ark Survivor trophy on me. That's a bit of a shame. But, yeah, I should put all that stuff here. So, anyway, here is the mega organized storage. I know you're all so, so proud of me. But, look, we've got guns in this one. You can see I've got them labeled. I've got attachments and ammo in that one and some explosive, bows and arrows, drugs, armor, tools. You can see in the drugs. Nothing illegal here. Just all completely legal narcotics, stimulants, and bug repellents. Dye and so on. Brought some of the dye over. And, uh, yeah, this is just all organized, guys, which is not like me normally. But what do you know? I've gone and done it. That's the fiber chest there. Yep, fiber chest chest put the fiber in there but i'm hoping to keep this up i want to do my best to stay organized this time but yeah i really need to get on with that trophy room i think i'll try and make that for the next episode so i've got something to show you brand new next episode so i need a lot of feedback today guys i'm not gonna lie i need some feedback i really don't know what to do oh hold on i'm hungry i really don't know what to do with the top of this now i was thinking 
I don't know. I really could have had my garden up here. I could have put my plants up here. And I might even still do that. What I could do is I could put crop plots around the edges. And just put any old berries in there. Could be... Uh, or any old seeds in there. Could be berries. Could be uh, the vegetables and the fruits and so on. But if I put crop plots around the whole outside. And then let them glow. It would look really nice. It would look like a little bit of a garden up here. And then maybe on the corners I could have the plant species X turrets. What do you guys think? Is that a cool idea? What else could I put in here? Because obviously, other than, you know, the crop plots around the outside, we've still got all this space in the middle. What would be cool to have here? Maybe a little outpost. Maybe I could put my taming pen on the roof. Well, that might not be a good idea with a plant species X. I don't know. And then obviously we could have a little bit of a, a ramp up to this top bit. And again, we've got another top bit, which I don't know what to do. I was hoping that I could actually access this from the top here but I, I, could, I can't seem to be able to do that i'm pretty sure you could before but whatever it doesn't seem like i can't so i would love some ideas guys i'm not great at building i'm not very inventive i've got some ideas but you guys are much much smarter maybe even on twitter go and link me some possible stuff because um obviously you might have seen some amazing builds and my kind of boring block is not that awesome so what i might do today is i might have a quick look over at Kano island because i haven't been over there in a while and i'm really looking forward to hopefully getting a level 120 plus Kano. so i'm gonna fly over there see what's going down see if there's anything that we can pick up because we haven't got many carnivals at the moment actually let's have a little check of this uh thing here what is this always lose direction of them when i pull the old spyglass out level eight right we're not gonna worry about you we'll let you fly around but yeah let's head over to carnivore island i don't really have many carnivores and uh, maybe there'll be something at level 120 plus but because yeah, i'm still in the early stages here where i'm looking for a lot of tames i'm like i'm checking everything i'm like it takes me ages to get anywhere because i'm just checking so many things like i need some some more herbivores and so on but hey anyway, let's go carnivore island i've got enough narc arrows and see if there's anything that we can tame so here we are, Cardo Island. Pretty quick journey with this really fast bird. And we're just going to have to check everything around here because we could have anything that's level 120 or even a level 100 plus. I need that female female scorpion. See if it's one level 60, not feeling that one. Now the main problem with taming over here is that there's just so much stuff that everything aggroes at the same time. It's really difficult. We've got level 28 there. 68 100 what was that was that a saber it was a saber wasn't it i saw a level 100 there i think it's one of the ones on the right over here was it was it the argent something's a level 100 around here oh, i hope it doesn't die whatever it was hmm whoa, whoa, oh 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 well, there it was it's got to be one of the sabers, surely. It comes up so quickly. I can't... Yes, it's a saber. It's a male saber. I've already got a male saber, though. Okay, so it's this one here. All right, let's go and see if we can pick this one up. Oh, we've got a Rex here as well. What are we looking at here? Level 12. I have to try and kill that one. Right, now we're a bit closer. Let's see if we can pick out the level 100. Oh, he's here on the left. That makes it handy. Come on, come on. Pick this one. There's so many of them. Yes, got him. Now, I can't remember. I think the saber that I've already got is a level, is a male level 120. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and try and drop this one in my little um, pen over here. I've got like a, a cooking pen. So what I can do is I can drop him there. Drop him like that. Fly out here. And then if I can close. Oh, oh, no, no. No, stay in there. If I can get him to stay in here. Alright, okay. That should be good. And then I close the door on him. And then he's stuck in there. Is he in there? Let's have a look. Oh, I see you in there, bro. I see you in there, bro. Yep, right. Okay, we've got him stuck in there. We'll tame him another time. He's not a matter of urgency at the moment because uh, I don't freaking I don't need him. I'm pretty sure the other one I've got is male as well. Look around. Stuff in the 30s. Loads of Argents around here. But as you guys know, I'm not too worried about Argents right now. I would love, love, love a high-level Kano. I would love a high-level Kano. So please, Mr. Kano. 
Oh, 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 24. No, nope, not feeding that one at all. I'm not really in the mood to uh, just kill loads of this stuff right at the moment. I mean, that would take a while. I don't know if you guys just want to see me, like, hammering through all these things with my bird. So we'll do that off camera while I'm not recording. But let's just have it. There's got to be something else around here. I mean, to be fair, to find even one level 100 plus on the island is pretty kill. But... Maybe our luck is in today, boys. Level 28, level 36. Not looking so good. What about this saber? Oh, oh, 52. Hmm. The elusive high levels are evading me right now. Damn, this is awkward. Right. See if we can pick these scorpions up. One of these. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Might just kill this one. Get rid of that one. And is there another one here or is it dead? I think it's dead. I think it's dead. This bird here. Ah! Came out of freaking view. Where it? Uh, that. No. No. I can't. Damn it. This is awkward. 20. Right. I would love a raptor as well. Did I check this carno? I love another raptor. I just absolutely love raptors. Right. Let's check this side of the island. This rex is level 32. Let's take this on. I just want to get rid of the Rexes because I'm absolutely desperate for a high level Rex. I've got those Bionic Rex skins just sitting there at the moment that I would love to be able to use. But I've just got no Rex and I've said to myself, I'm not taming anything that's level under a level 100. So I'm, I'm going to make a couple of exceptions because some of the herbivores and stuff I kind of need. But in general, when it comes to like the dinosaurs I actually want, nothing under level 100. We're going to have one of the beastliest squads of dinos on the whole of YouTube. I can promise you that. It's going to be the ultimate squad. This Rex is uh, pretty tanky. Pretty tanky. I can't. I don't think this is my melee bird. This is like my um, speed bird. So not quite as strong as he could be. But you've got to remember, level 32, I mean, that's still going to have like quite a few thousand health. On the first season, this would have been uh, a Rex that I would have wanted. Come on, Rexy. This will give you uh, a nice bit of XP as well. I think I should be able to just tank it if I just stay here like this. Yeah, it's not doing that much damage. I've got loads of health on these birds. Damn, it takes a while. It takes a while. I think I'm stuck under it, which I think isn't a problem. Because, look, my health is absolutely fine. Come on, Rexy. Damn, this thing's a beast. This might have been a high-level health one, you know. Although things are might be low level if they've got all their random points in health like a level 32 rex can sometimes have more health than like a level 100 rex just depending on how their stats have been uh distributed because they can all be distributed differently but damn yeah that thing was freaking that thing was tanky let me get some stamina after that so this was that low level carno nothing too crazy about that one let's swoop over this side. I don't think we've checked everything over here. Damn, loads of scorpions today. Loads of scorpions. Level 100 plus female is what I'm after. Level 44 is not going to cut it. What are you? You are 28. Couple of ladies though. What's a couple of ladies? Got a, a cat here. No, nope, you're a male. I'm looking for ladies today. Well, not all ladies, but we'll see what we can get. Hmm, nothing there. This area is quite good for drops as well. Look how many Argents there are. Absolutely ridiculous. Ah, oh, man. It's so difficult, like, tracking stuff. 30. One of these has got to be super high level. One of them. I mean, we haven't seen a super high level one yet. So, you'd think the law of averages on our side will mean... No. All right, we'll do a swoop around the front. And then we'll call it a day for Kano Island. We did find that nice saber. I'm not going to tame that right now. I'm not really too bothered about taming a, a second male saber. But I've got a feeling there's got to be one other. Is that an eight? No. Oh, oh, an 88. That's quite nice. Female as well. Hmm. Nah, I'm not going to compromise. I'm not going to compromise. Why compromise? Let's have a look at this bird. All right. I think... We are done here. There is so many birds. So many birds. That I definitely am going to find more high level birds here. But I'm just not desperate for another bird right now. I've got two amazing birds. Level 68. Some good stuff. Some good stuff. I think I looked at this cat before. 
Oh, female, 112. What do you know? This is the one. Oh my God, it's hitting me. We found it. All right, I think I might actually just take this back. See if it doesn't kill me on the way. Sometimes if you pick them up at certain angles, they can actually hit you. Yeah, female, 112, an absolutely beautiful looking cat. So yeah, let's take this one back. Let's, uh, let's just drop it for a second. If we pick it up from a different angle, then it won't be able to hit us. So I'm just going to let it hit me for a second. There we go. That should be good. And let's pick her up. Damn, still hitting me. This one's an absolute monster. Look at it. Absolute monster. Hold on. I don't want to take you to that thing there. That might actually uh, do some damage to you, that Gigantopithecus. Just drop you here. Let's just wait a second. Absolutely crazy. She's definitely a feisty one. Definitely a feisty one. Right, let's try this again, shall we? Third time's a charm. Oh, great. Still hitting me. Still hitting me. Nope. We're good. Oh, a yellow drop, though. I can't resist a yellow drop. Cannot resist a yellow drop. These can be really good. These can have the long necks and stuff on. So I'm just going to drop you down there, Saber. Yeah, you make that little noise as I drop you. Go on, blueprint. Oh, blueprint for a long neck. Oh, it's a princess. Oh, that is awesome. That is, that is super rare. That is super rare. Oh, man. What a day. We got a level 112 female saber. We got an apprentice long neck rifle blueprint. Oh, man. I told you yellow drops were good. I told you they were good. All right. Now all we need to do is take this back, get the tame going, and this will wrap up a splendid day on the arc. Absolutely splendid. And I don't say that word very often, so you know it's good if I'm saying splendid. All right, back at base. Let's see. Let's just whistle passive before everything attacks this when I miss putting it in. Like I say, this is a bit of a ghetto one, so sometimes I miss. It's in there, though. It's in there. Right. We've got the passive whistle going on. I think we're good. Let's whistle passive again just to make sure. And let's knock this baby out. Hello. Look at this saber tooth. Look at it. It's beautiful. I love the orange. Orange and green. I think I prefer this to the male one. I have to shoot you in the ass if you're not going to look at me. Hey, come over here. <laughs> I hope I am shooting it with narcs. I'm 99% sure I am using narc arrows here. <laughs> you should always check before you do it, but... I'm pretty sure I'm using narcs here, so... Leave it a few seconds in between shots. Doesn't really matter too much, to be honest with you. Some people always bang on about that. Whoa! I hit the wall, but... It really doesn't matter too much. She is a feisty one. Absolutely love this saber tooth. Look at it. I mean, the only thing that can make it more perfect would be a level 120. But I mean, damn. It's not far off. And who knows? It could have incredible stats. Like, Here, yeah, kitty, kitty. Go on, conscious kitty. It's got to be. It's got to be soon. Cats don't have incredible torpor, so it's gonna. It's gonna go down soon. I should really try and hit it in the head for maximum effectiveness, babe. I ain't too worried about that. Boom. Come on, kitty, kitty. Down you go, kitty, kitty. Come on. This thing is taking quite a few. It's so high level, I guess. Let's just smash him in. Let's just smash him in. Santa, I don't want to do too much damage. If I do too much damage, it will die. So I should leave it a few seconds in between. Um, shots. There we go. She's down. Let's take a little look. 1,100 health before the tame. That's not bad. 175% melee. Not bad at all. Right. Let's let her starve out a little bit. Put away this blueprint. Blueprint, boys. Apprentice long neck blueprint. I know you're jealous. 130% damage. Damn, that's an absolute beaut. Let's put it at the top. Much better than my other long neck blueprint. Psh, my other long neck blueprint for peasants. That is just a primitive long neck. Psh, I've got an apprentice now, son. Right, we are going to need to get some prime meat for our beautiful, a beautiful tame. How should we get it? Maybe we could go and get it with one of the tames. Yeah, now yeah, make it easy. Let's just go and get it with the bird. And I've shut myself in my ass. Right, let's go get some prime of the bird and get taming this little beastie. 
All right, we've got our brand new saber tooth. I'm going to call this one Sophie. Sophie the saber. How about that? We like names that kind of... What's it called when the same letter begins with everything? Oh, my God. What's it called? Elocution or something? I don't know. We like a little bit of that. So, Sophie the saber, you're an absolute beast. Welcome to the team. Uh, I just dropped you. I'm sorry about that. I assure you that normally doesn't happen, Sophie. Um, I know uh, this is your first day here, but I promise you we're a professional organization here. Let me introduce me to your boyfriend, possibly potential husband. Yes, we believed in arranged marriages here. Hope you like the place, Sophie. It's a nice looking, uh, nice looking place. I think you'll agree. Uh, come hither, Sophie. You can see the mate boost effect already. Okay, this way, Sophie. Let me introduce you to your new boyfriend. What do you think, guys? Happy relationship? Now, you have got 1,500 health. What a beast. And you've got 1,600 down. I think you two are going to get on just great. And look at the other squad members here as well. Just chilling. But, yeah. Anyway, that's it for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to smash that like button if you did. And I will see you all tomorrow.